Hey guys, welcome back to another hiking adventure. Today, I'm in Southern Oregon in the Umpqua National Forest, about to do a hike off of Highway 138, which is also known as the Waterfall Highway because there are so many waterfalls along this highway, which I plan on seeing as many as I can until the end of the day. So the first waterfall I'm checking out is the Susan Creek Falls Trail, and uh, this is 1.5 miles round trip. 187 feet of elevation gain. All Trails labels this as moderate. It sounds like it's easy, but uh, I'll have to let you know what I think. Yeah, it's pretty obvious that the fire that happened here was pretty big. It's very spread out, um, the burn area. So I wonder if this happened in 2020 or 2021, or if it's even before that. I'll have to look that up. So the one cool thing is I'm probably about an hour away from Crater Lake National Park. So um, this waterfall highway would be a good idea if you are visiting Crater Lake and you have a little extra time on your hands. You can just see how burned this bark is on this tree, but it's still alive, it's still standing. Look at this one, this one's charred even more than that one. Really burnt up. So the trail is going up, but very, very gradually. So I'm really highly doubting this moderate rating. I'm thinking it's more on the easy side, but like I said, I'll let you know at the end. You know, I really wonder what this place used to look like before the fire, but the one good thing about fire, it may be able to burn trees, but it cannot burn a waterfall away. That was a cool little waterfall. And honestly, this hike should be labeled as easy. It's easy in my opinion. Anyways, let's go check out the next waterfall on the Waterfall Highway. So roughly about 10-15 minutes away from the Susan Creek Falls is the Fall Creek Falls. This trail is 1.1 miles round trip and 295 feet of elevation gain. This trail is labeled as easy. And as you can already see, this trail is in a burn area as well. Oh look at this, we get to go through these rocks right now. Well, this is pretty cool and I'm enjoying the shade of this brief moment. Yeah, that is a lot of burned trees right there. All right, and then Fall Creek is just right down below. Wow, will you just look at how this tree was burned from the inside? That is really crazy looking. And as you can totally see, it is still standing, even with that big old hole down in the bottom.
You know, this hike is all burned and creepy, but I still think it looks kind of cool actually in a weird sort of way, but yeah, it's kind of neat. <laughs> so I'm guessing like the 295 feet of elevation gain was all in the beginning because we did a lot of climbing at first, but there might still be a little more, but not much. Okay, now this tree stump looks pretty crazy. So this is a pretty phenomenal waterfall and the best part about it is nobody else is here right now. It's just me. All to myself, I have this. You know, I was really not expecting the waterfall to be as nice as it was. That was pretty awesome. And um, you know, especially when you're hiking on a trail through a fire ravaged place like this, the last thing you would expect is a gorgeous waterfall like that. Let's go check out another waterfall. All right guys, one more waterfall, White Horse Falls. This isn't even a hike. You just park and then walk a few feet and boom, the waterfall's right there. So White Horse Falls ended up being another beautiful waterfall. Super easy to get to obviously. And uh, all the waterfalls I did today were pretty cool. I enjoyed my day and I was happy to show you guys. That was just a small sample of all the waterfalls that are here on the Waterfall Highway. And there are many, many more. And uh, if you guys are ever visiting Crater Lake or you're in this particular area, I would highly recommend it. Checking out all the waterfalls or as many as you can. You guys, I really want to thank you so much for joining me on this adventure today. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, I would totally love for you to subscribe to my channel so I can take you with me on future hiking adventures around the Pacific Northwest or other parts of the nation. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Till next time.